What's going on guys and welcome to the 65th Xamarin Android tutorial. So this video we are going to be taking a look at the Facebook SDK. Alright guys, so the, the Facebook SDK can be used for many things uh, to integrate your app with Facebook, but primarily we're going to be focusing on the login system so that your users have the ability to log in to your application with their Facebook uh, login credentials. Okay, so very cool stuff. You know, it, um, a lot of apps are doing it now, which it, you know, it just totally makes sense because of the fact that it 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 takes away from the from from the strain of your application having to deal with the credentials, and also it just gives a, the user a lot of uh, easier access, and, and you know, they can they, they like the fact that they can just you know go through the app with Facebook and everything will be tied through that, okay? So, same thing with the Google Plus login, the uh, Facebook one is, is probably is used, you know, heavily as well. So, let's get started, guys. Uh, but like with any SDK, the setting up of the SDK and kind of getting everything integrated is sometimes usually the hardest part. So, uh, and that's just, you know, my opinion, but there's a lot of pitfalls that can happen and things just aren't set up right and then you have everything else right, nothing works just because of one little thing. So. Let's get started on setting up the SDK with um, setting up the developer. Yet, yet, yet. <coughs> excuse me. You get to set up a developer account um, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So we'll come over here, and this is uh, I pulled up the Facebook SDK, and this is what it gave me from Google. All right. So you'll see a quick start for Android, okay, which is what we want. So we'll do quick start for Android. And one thing you do have to have, so there, there are a few requirements. If you come over here, it'll say before you implement Facebook login, you need to, well, first you need the Facebook app, okay? So you need the actual application, which I have right here in my emulator. You need the application installed on that device, okay? So the Facebook app, all right? With single sign-on enabled, all right? Which I believe right now is actually enabled by default, but what, what that means is the fact that when you, when you, it should sign you in automatically through Facebook, all right? So just make sure you have that going. Now, with the uh, the SDK, of course, you need that. You need the SDK, which we will get, of course, from the component store, and then you need an app ID. So when you make a project, you're gonna you're gonna declare your app, and then Facebook will in turn give you an app ID. And then last, you need an Android key hash, which I will show you how to generate that, of course. And the uh, the Facebook activity, of course, will we'll have to include that in the Android manifest, which I'll show you how to do that uh, as well. All right. So the first thing we're gonna get started on is, is, is first of all, just make sure you have the Facebook app. And then we're all gonna get the Facebook SDK, but the first thing we're gonna start on is actually gonna get the Facebook app ID, okay? And that's what we have to do over here. We have to actually register for a developer account, all right? So make sure you know you do have a Facebook account. And when you register, uh, it's gonna ask you for your password, of course. All right, and then it's gonna ask, do you accept the Facebook developer um, the, the policy and the Facebook privacy policy, okay? So, of course, uh, just hit yes, you if you want to accept it. And then what it's gonna do is it says that we need to verify, okay? So, what we lose you the easiest way, of course, is just to send a text out, which I'll go ahead and do right now. All right, so what I did was I went ahead and just entered my phone number and it texted me, gave me a code, which I simply put into that box, and then here we are now, okay? so. Uh, of course, the the number is going to be the uh, probably the one that you you have um, on file if you did if you did give it on file or uh, you know whatever whatever number is your primary of course so uh, and then you can also there's other methods to do it but that's usually the easiest way okay so that's what I went ahead and did and I clicked done okay so now it's going to ask us guys what we want to develop for what platform well of course we want to uh, do the Android. Now it says choose an existing app or type the name of your new app. Okay, so we don't have an existing app right now that's on the actual like uh, Play Store or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna type in um, something like Facebook login tutorial. That's what I'll go ahead and call it, and create new Facebook app ID. All right, so it's gonna ask us for a category. Which I mean, depending on your application, of course, you know whatever it's going to be. I'll just go ahead and pick education. That seems fitting. And it's not going to let us because Facebook is in the name. So what what it's doing is not letting us do it because it's uh it, it's too close to Facebook the naming of it, of course. So what we'll have to end up doing is do 
we'll just call it login tutorial and that that should suffice guys and come down here education that time it should let us through now all right so now we got this little uh this this interface here now we can download the sdk which we don't need to do that guys we can get it from the component store through xamarin was where we're going to do it and uh, but of course if you're using like java or something you could use that or you can just go ahead and get it through through gradle if you're using android studio but that's how the scope of this project is uh this, this series really so let's come down to here uh, if you want if you are installing for facebook the emulator you can get the apk right here or you can come ahead and then you can go to the if you do have the play store on your emulator like i did i just download the facebook the facebook app which remember what you do need okay so you do need facebook installed i know i mentioned that already but uh, let me just make sure i stress that a little bit all right so to add in the facebook sdk like i said uh we're going to go through all these steps as well through uh, through another video so don't worry, don't worry about this we're going to go through that ourselves and then adding it of course and then here's where we need to it says it says tell us about your android project all right so what we can do is let me slide it over here and this is a project that i already had existing and this is the project that we have good we have going on right now and you can see that i have a, a somewhat working project now and all it's doing guys is just logging in through through facebook so nothing really too exciting going on but uh let me show you let me do show you how it works and let's see it's gonna pull up yeah so once this once it shows i'll go ahead and show you what i need and we'll, we'll need the, we'll actually need the package uh name for the for the project that we have going on but before that let me show you how this works so all it is really is just a a screen that just says hey log in log out right now i'm logged in so i'll log out and this will log me in so log in with facebook i'll log in through facebook facebook checked me and then now it knows my profile so it says hey how you doing and that's pretty much all it because once you log into facebook of course you can get their profile name you can get uh you know just a lot of different information you can of course get the id save it in your own database and whatnot so there you go now so what we need now guys is what we actually uh, need over here is it says remember over here it says you know find this in your android manifest and then default activity class name all right so no big deal so let's come over to our properties and um, how to get the manifest or i'm sorry the package name is going to be android manifest and then package name is going to be right there okay so that's going to be the package name for ours and of course, I'm going to be making a new project once the time comes. I'm just showing you how to set it up right now. But when the time when the time comes, um, this may change, it may not. But just make sure that you have your package name. Just copy it over there. We'll paste it in here. And then of course, now it's asking for the main activity. Okay, so it's going to be that. And then our main activity, our launcher activity, which we can see right here, the launcher activity is set to true for this activity, which is main activity. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set that to dot main activity. All right, so that's a little, that's really all we got to do is this bottom portion. We'll hit next. And what it's going to say, guys, it's going to say that we were unable to verify your package name on Google Play. So our package name obviously isn't on the Play Store right now. So what does that mean? Well, that just means that we can just say, hey, don't worry about it. You know, when we do get it up, it'll be up. So just use this package name. All right or you just it's just a little warning but make sure you just use this package name now it's going to come over here and it's going to say the development key hash and then there's the release key hash all right so this the, the release key hash is of course if our app's already been published i'm um, assuming that your app hasn't been published yet since we're still working on it so when the time comes you'll need to re-sign it and actually with the release key and you'll need to generate this again but it wants the development key hash and it'll show you how now, if you do have uh, SSL open and you have it installed on your on your Windows, you could run this. But if you don't, this actually won't work if you don't have the right things installed. All right, and there's actually a pretty pretty easy way to get this hash key, and that's that's exactly what this code right here is going to do. Okay, so just in case if you're wondering like, what the heck is this? Uh, that's what that code is for. Okay, so it's really not much to do with Facebook, just getting the the, the key hash, which Facebook requires. All right, so it wants a development key hash right here. All right. Well, no biggie. All right, and, and if you look this up, you'll probably see some examples that are pretty much similar to this that are doing this, okay? So these, uh, the way you can get this, guys, um, 
what you can do is you can just start a start your start a, start a new uh, project. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. Actually, since I'm going to start a project in the future, let me just start it now. That way, we can we can get this uh, from starting fresh, and we can follow along, and we can all be on the same page here. All right, so I'm going to come in here, and I am going to open up a new instance of Visual Studio. All right, and of course, blank app. And then we'll call it Facebook login tutorial. Tutorial. All right. And it's over here on this screen. Let me bring it over. All righty. So here's our main activity. As you guys know, I mean, we've been here, done that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and change the minimum version to 15. And I'm going to target 21. I'm going to compile 21 target 21 that should be fine all right so we're left with the main activity and then the on create right inside of this activity so all we want to do let me just go ahead and face this so it was let's get this code okay and uh, I know you obviously don't have it pasted um, if, uh, if you want to get the project link that's fine uh, but if you want it's just a few line a few lines of code so let's go ahead and bring it over here and we could just leave that stuff for now but here we go. So let's go ahead and import some of this stuff. We'll right click that. We'll need to import message digest. That. All right. So we should be good. And what's, what this does, guys, is basically just get your, get your package info. And it's going to take this and it's going to, it's going to actually uh, get the, the signature, right? So from that, from that, it's going to get the signature of the SHA-1. It's going to get it turn into a byte array and then since then it's going to turn into a byte array so that we can go ahead and convert it to base 64 which is what the hash requires and then we're actually going to write it to the line but what's really weird about this is the fact that it doesn't write to the console for me at least maybe it will for you but as you debug it if you go through it it'll actually give you uh the key hash through the through the debugging right so this might seem a little ridiculous and i do admit that it is but there's a there's a few other tools that can get you this, but this seems to be the quickest and it's just the easiest way to do it instead of downloading the tool or or, or having to get SSL if you don't have it. So um, this is, seems to be the most g generic way for everyone to do it. So, but if you do have another way, there are some other other different alternatives. But this is probably one that you will see if you start googling around, right? So let's go ahead and run this. And when we run it, let's go ahead and put a breakpoint on it, of course. So we'll put a breakpoint on it. And then we'll go through it and then we'll we'll get the the hash key and then we'll now go back into the developer console through facebook and then insert insert it in there okay so see that we have a breakpoint right here and it and now let's let's go ahead and step through now if we hover over this see uh now that we we're, we're right now we're stepping through and if we hover over this guys you'll notice that you do get a key and there it is. And usually, uh, base sixty four is uh, pretty. If you can tell, it's base sixty four from the plus sign and the equal. Uh, these symbols right here are usually a good sign that something's been base sixty four. So here, uh, here we are, and that's all. That's all we need for the key. Now, notice that you know, for me, down here at the bottom, if you do realize that the key hash, there is no key hash yet. Th there was obviously one right here. So uh, I'm not really sure why that happens but there uh, seems to be an easy way just to step through it and get the, get the key hash there. Maybe a security thing. So no problem. Now we, we, got, we copied the, the key hash. So now we can come back over here to our console, right? And we can go ahead and just paste it in there. All right. So there we are, guys. And now there's our development key hash. So now what we can do is that we think we got everything pretty much squared away. And since I changed my project, remember that my my package name probably has changed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into back into my manifest and I'm going to change it to something a little easier to uh, read. So login, I'll FB login tutorial, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and change it there. All right. Remember, it's uh, Android manifest. Oops. There we are. And come back over here. All 
Okay, so looking good so far, whatever that is, just change it to your own package name. And we'll come down here, we got our development key hash, we'll hit next. Now it's gonna tell us how to track some stuff, track app installs and app opens with the, so that we can monitor this stuff. If you do want to, there's uh, examples here of how to do that, but it's not too concerning with us right now. Now it says the next steps, uh, let's go into here, share message. So we'll go ahead and say skip to developer dashboard. All right, so now we have our developer dashboard and with it we have our app ID, which is really all we really did all this for, okay? We wanted to get the app ID. Remember that this, this was uh, down here, Facebook app ID, okay? So uh, hopefully it wasn't too much trouble getting that app ID, but here it is in this box. Keep facing that thing. And there we have it. So now that we have the app ID, we can start using it and we're gonna need to actually put that into our manifest and that will link it up with the developer here in this console, okay? So uh, hopefully it wasn't too much trouble, like I said, but you know, as you can see, there's obviously a good amount of stuff that we can do to get this going. We really haven't even wrote any code, right? This is the only code that we wrote, but we do have a project. So we have a project set up. We have an app ID, which is really uh, the big part of it. And then now we just need to get the SDK hookup and link up the app ID with the with the the project and then use the sdk to to authorize our credentials that are linked through the phone because we have the facebook app remember the facebook app is installed so we have that all right guys so that's going to be it okay and then remember also here whatever your package name is this is the package name all right so I'm, i didn't put that point that out, i'm sorry but this is the package name so make sure you go ahead and use that as well when you are getting your own make sure you just replace you know this string with your own package name, which you can get inside the properties if you remember a few seconds ago. So there you have it, all right? So that's just the first video. Uh, there's obviously gonna be a few to really get this set up, but you know, this may seem a little tedious at first, guys, and I uh, apologize for that, but we uh, we wanna make sure we do it right because you know with these things, we'll, we'll do one step wrong, and then the whole process will just be, uh, be in vain and we'll have to go back and retrace our steps, and that's never fun, right? So that is the first, and then the next uh, video, we're gonna actually download the SDK and uh, hopefully get a login system login system working at that point and then we'll go over how to how to implement a couple of different ways because there are a couple of different ways to log in there's uh there's one way that does a lot of it for you and then there's another way that you can get doesn't do a lot of it for you but uh the compromise of course is you get more control over okay so we're going to go over both ways all right and that's all in the next few videos okay thanks for watching guys